Is it time for you to upgrade your paradigm? Have you been thinking with the wrong mental frame? Well, in that case, you're probably holding yourself back from being happier, more fulfilled, achieving more, and just crushing it in general in your life. So think about this. How could you put a better mental frame in place that would help you view the world and everything that's happening through a better perspective, which then would lead to you interpreting everything better, which would then lead to you feeling better about it, which would then lead you to taking better action. And of course, achieving more of your goals and also not taking things the wrong way and not feeling bad and getting bogged down and feeling heavy and feeling like the world is against you. Well, a great example of one of the most powerful frame shifts or paradigm shifts that you can experience is going from a victim to a creator, meaning that you stop blaming the world for your problems, for your issues, even though there are external circumstances that may be difficult or challenging or that even seem to be creating problems in your life, you take the perspective that you're in charge and you have a lot of influence, a lot more than what other people think that they have. You take self-responsibility and you assume that there's always something that you can do about it. You can always interpret things better. You can behave better. You can approach things in a different way, which will lead to you having more success. See, it's not about saying that everything is my fault and it's just all me and I'm the creator of all my problems and everything is just down to me and nobody else is at fault ever and I'm just a horrible person who made everything bad in my life happen. That's not it at all. That's actually going back into victim, right? Oh, me, me, it's all me, painful me, woe is me, and it's all my fault and self-blame and self-pity. We're going out of that and we're saying, hey, I have influence. I can take action. And I'm going to focus on the things that I can control, meaning what I do and how I behave and how I react. One amazing thing about this frame is that you realize nobody can really make you feel something. They can say something or do something that inspires you to feel something, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're obligated to feel that way. It's your interpretation of what they say and how you take it that determines how you'll respond. So you're in charge of all that. But yet we say things like, you make me so angry or, oh, that, that what you said that it makes me so sad, but it's internal. It's how we view it and we can choose to interpret things differently. There's that famous example, you know, that story that's been told so many times with the two brothers that grow up with an alcoholic, abusive father. And one of the brothers goes on to, you know, be homeless and he's a wreck and he's a drunken madman and nothing in his life is good. And when they ask him, you know, how come you're like this? Well, because my father was, you know, he did all these horrible things to us. And now this is who I am. The other brother, on the other hand, became very successful, wealthy, happy, had a great family life. And in general, just really, really did well for himself. And they asked him the same question. Well, how come you're like this? You know, you had this alcoholic, abusive father. How come you're so successful? And he said, well, because of that, because of our father. I didn't want to be like him. I didn't want to follow in those footsteps. So I went and made something of myself. You see, it's the same circumstances, the same situation, but a different interpretation and view of it. And that's where the shift happens. Now ask yourself, where is this happening in my life? Pretty much everywhere. Where are you perceiving things where maybe you could view them in a better light? And when you give them a different meaning, all of a sudden you feel different. And when you feel different, you act different and you think different and everything starts to align. And before you know it, really, it's when you change your thoughts, you change your life. And you notice that, you know, it didn't have to be hard. It didn't have to be exhausting or difficult. 
I remember when I first decided to start in coaching. You know, this is over five years ago. And I thought, this is so difficult. This is so hard. I don't know what I'm doing. It's so hard. It's so hard. And then I started getting some help and it kind of reframed it for me. It was like, actually, this is really easy. In fact, it's almost easier than getting a traditional education or going and getting a normal job. And all of a sudden building an online business and thriving and, you know, helping people and working with people all over the world actually was like second nature. It wasn't this difficult, crazy thing. But my original perspective was that it was impossible and I could have never dreamed of it. Remarkable how the mind works and how it tricks you and how it will just put you in weird situations because it interprets things a little bit off. Just a subtle little step to the left or the right in the wrong direction. And before you know it, you have a completely different outcome. So what's that? couple of millimeters that you need to change. Maybe it's, you know, a parent who didn't treat you well and you need to reframe that. Or maybe, you know, something happened in your life at one point and it sent you down the path and you're not happy. You have to redefine what that moment meant. If you keep the old meaning, you'll likely keep the same results. So redefine it. Take control of your paradigm. Shift the way that you think because the results are extraordinary. They're life-changing, and I want that for you. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching.